In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use the gyroscope sensor included in the Inertial Measurement Unit, or IMU, that is part of the Rev Expansion Hub. To use the IMU, we must ensure the config file is set up with the IMU listed under Expansion Hub Portal 1. See the Blocks Introduction to Inertial Measurement Unit video for more information. We'll also configure a pair of motors as left motor and right motor. The IMU has 12 modes to allow the programmer to select which of its many features should be used and how they should be combined. We'll use an IMU mode, also called IMU, that allows the gyroscope to be calibrated automatically. It uses the IMU's gyroscope and accelerometer features. When we set the left and right motors to the same power level, the robot will often not go exactly straight because of different amounts of friction on each side. This autonomous op mode uses the gyroscope to move forward in a straight line by making adjustments to the motor's power levels when the direction of the robot starts to get off track. You can find this op mode as a BLK file at the address shown. You can download it to your computer and then upload it to the block's environment. The gyro measures acceleration around the X, Y, and Z axes. The IMU converts these accelerations into velocities and rotation values. We are interested in the Z rotation value because the Z axis points up and rotations around it represent turning left as a positive rotation or right as a negative rotation. We obtain the Z rotation value as the third of three angles contained in the orientation object. We call this value the yaw angle because yaw is the term used for left and right turns by airplanes and spacecraft. A yaw angle close to zero indicates the robot is moving straight ahead. We'll allow the yaw angle to vary from zero in either direction by five degrees and make adjustments to the motor powers when the yaw varies more than five degrees. The yaw angle increases counterclockwise, so negative values mean the robot is wandering right. So when the yaw angle is less than 5 degrees, we'll decrease the power to the left motor and increase the power to the right motor, causing it to turn slightly left. When the yaw angle is more than 5 degrees, we'll make the opposite adjustment to cause the robot to turn slightly right. Otherwise, we'll make the motor power values equal. We see the robot making automatic adjustments to its course to stay as close as possible to moving forward in a straight line. Now let's use the gyro to execute a controlled right turn. We'll use motor power values of negative 0.2 and positive 0.2 to cause the robot to turn in place. We add a repeat until block to create a new loop. We use an OR block because we want to stop looping when either of two things happen. We add blocks that compare the yaw angle to negative 90 degrees. On the other side of the OR, we check for stop request. Inside the loop, we update the yaw angle variable, so the repeat block will use the current angle. Then we add blocks that send the new yaw angle to the driver station. The loop will continue and the robot will turn until negative 90 degrees have been reached or stop is pressed on the driver station. Once one of these two things occurs, the robot will stop looping and both motor powers will be set to zero, causing the robot to stop. The robot moves forward and makes a right turn. Notice that while the motors stop when the turn reaches 90 degrees, the robot's angular momentum keeps it turning for about another 20 degrees. You can solve this by reducing the motor powers as the yaw angle approaches 90 degrees. A gyroscope gives us the control we need to drive straight 
and turn precisely in autonomous mode. With modification to the op mode, we could accomplish the same thing with a Modern Robotics integrated gyro or a similar gyro that is FTC compatible. There are ways you could improve the directional control of the robot demonstrated in this video. One possible improvement would be to replace the simple if do else sequence with blocks that implement proportional integral derivative control, also known as PID control. 